Hello, my name is Joel Ababa, and I'm the Franchise King. Today I'm going to talk about the three things you need to know about when you're looking at buying an existing franchise business, one that is already in business. But before I begin, please click subscribe right below this video. Click that button so you can get notified every darn time I produce a fresh new franchise business opportunity video like the one you're watching now. All right, let's get to this. The first thing you need to know when you're looking at an existing franchise business is it takes a while from beginning to end to actually buy the existing franchise business. As a matter of fact, it takes a lot longer than looking at a startup franchise business. The reason being is just more complicated. There are more financials involved. Uh, there are accountants involved almost right away. The business owner's accountant, your accountant, that's right, you're going to need to hire an accountant, and you're going to need to hire a franchise attorney, and that franchise attorney is going to need to talk to the business owner's attorney, and it's just, it, it takes a while. It really just takes a while. All right, so I want you to know that. Figure four to five months from beginning to end, as opposed to two to three months when you're looking at a startup franchise. Once you start doing it, you'll see. It just takes a while. It takes a lot longer, so be patient. The second thing you need to know is that you are going to be a franchisee. That means there are legalities involved. And just like when you look at a startup franchise, you're going to need to receive the FDD from the franchisor, the franchise disclosure document. And you're going to have to talk to the franchisor because the franchisor isn't just going to say yes automatically to someone who wants to buy an existing franchise from the franchisee that's already in business and who they have a contract with. So the franchisor is going to need to approve you. Plus, you want to get to know the franchisor. So make sure that when you are looking at an existing franchise business, you quickly get the name of the franchise sales representative at headquarters so you can start communications with, with him or her. It's really, really important. And one other thing, uh, you need to do the research exactly like you're doing with a startup business. That means looking through the FDD, calling franchisees, existing franchisees from all over the country so you can get a good feel of what the opportunity is and what it takes to be a successful franchisee and what the franchisees think of the brand, the concept, the technology, and most importantly, the culture. What do they think of the franchisor? What do they think of the folks at headquarters? Are they supporting franchisees? You need to find this out. Really, really important. And the last thing, and this is really important and it's something that you're not gonna know until you do it, the emotions involved are really, really going to be high. First of all, you're looking at someone else's business, someone else's baby. This franchisee hopefully has spent years building his or her business, and now all of a sudden he's gonna be selling it. He or she's gonna be selling it. There's a lot of emotion tied in, a lot of sweat and tears. Um, you know, it took a while to build this franchise business that a stranger is coming to buy. There's a lot of emotion, believe me. So it's a little more intense than buying a startup franchise where there's no location yet and you're gonna be the one opening the location. So the emotions are, are going to be high. It's gonna be a little intense and you just need to know that. So anyway, those are three things you need to know when you're looking at an existing franchise business. I would say about 20% of the people that I work with are looking at an existing franchise business in addition to looking at a startup franchise business. So. I hope I helped you. I really like to help uh, would-be franchise owners avoid surprises, and that's why I produced this video. Thanks for watching, and there are links below if you want to contact me about what it would take to work with me, and also information about researching a franchise, including a link to the definitive guide to franchise research, which you need to have in front of you as you research franchise opportunities. Thanks for watching. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lovato.